Thanks for joining me here at Power Mods. You know, one thing I noticed online, a lot of guys are changing the belts on these old brutes, and even the new ones, and um, some guys are taking the clutches off. Now, you should never have to take a clutch off to change a belt. There's always a way to do it. Some clutches have a little uh, mechanism in there, so you can just, or a threaded passage, you can just thread a bolt in, it spreads the sheaves, you can pull that belt off easily. Most of the times, I haven't even tried it with this one, you can just grab the belt and just sort of work it off and wheel it around and it'll come off and you can put the new one on. You have to be able to do this on the trail. If you have a flat spot on your belt, you gotta be able to do it right out there. You don't carry the tools to take a clutch off. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, uh, or at least how I do it on most of the things we deal with. All my sleds have belts, ATVs, UTVs, belts. Um, this belt in particular is for a Terex. I read somewhere online that the Terex belts are really good to use, especially if you're playing with the power of these machines. And it is a 59011-0019er. Tiny little thing compared to our sled belts. Extremely small. Let's see if I can just do this in one crack. I, no idea. Let's see, Simon. Why am I going to eat my words? Uh, if I'm going to eat my words, you're not going to see this video. <laughs> <laughs> this had a hard engagement on it, and that's just because this belt is so darn worn. Look at the gap between there. There's almost a quarter inch gap between that belt and that outer sheave of the primary. And look, I mean, we're losing a lot of power out of this bike. It's like starting off in second gear. That's not a good thing. What I do when I change one of these is I just spread the sheet. Maybe come over this side here. Sorry. There we go. You can usually roll that clutch around. Oopsie. Yeah. All right, so that belt, although it is worn, will come in handy as a spare. When you're putting these belts on, you want to be able to read it. You don't want it upside down, trying to read your letters and your numbers on there. When you're reading it, the direction of the uh, windings in here, or the threads, are such that if they start to unfurl, they're not going to peel off and get wrapped around your clutches. They're going to go with the clutches. That's why we do it that way. I'm gonna jam that on. Damn it. Yep. There you go. There you go. Spin that primary. You're coming. You're coming. Bam. Well, there's a little bit of play in there as it is. Thought it would have been tighter than that. Well, let's spin that up a bit. Well, that's better. See it's starting to rise up on top of there? Oh, that's a lot better. Now, before I forget, make sure that you give me a big old thumbs up and subscribe and check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, we're on the Instagram. That wasn't that bad, you know, we got onto this, uh, you saw me first time, never tried it before on this bike and it didn't work out too badly. Now that I've done it, I could probably do it in a couple minutes, no problem. We are going to come back for another video, we're going to install a Dalton clutch kit because we are going to a bigger tire, we've added more power with the RJWC exhaust system, it's a full exhaust back, um, jet kit, and we've also got a high flow air filter on there. So we need to make changes and it all happens at the clutches. That's a very important thing. We'll talk about that at the later date, probably later on this week. We're, we've got a new cover for that clutch as well. It uh, enhances airflow through the whole uh, clutch housing to help keep things cooler. It's pretty neat. So stay tuned, keep coming back. We love working on this old beast and it is a beast. This thing rocks. Thanks for watching.